will set off a mystic ice blast to save humanity so they gotta move fast this brave team will enter the dragon land fears no option they've got to get the fire rock the superheroes are ready for battle using the special powers to get Save the whole planet The time has begun To save the world From destruction For superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together Dynamite Nothing will ever stop them And the Dino Bros An island in the sky The Oracle Pyros has foreseen the time of our victory is at hand. The signal we're waiting for is coming. Has there been a decision as to the ultimate fate of mankind? And why do you care so much about mankind? I do not care, but I do believe mankind could be of use as... Of use? In the past, humans? we taught them to use fire to forge metal. Why, without us, they'd still be in caves. They display some progress. They are qualified to serve. Vlad, don't get distracted. The destruction of the Dinofros is our ultimate goal. The green trees and the blue sea gone, like most life. Now I understand. The upgrading transformations of the Flames of Golgoth will allow us to escape extinction. Flame is the dragon's ally. And with the passage of the Comet Fire Rock, we enter into an everlasting covenant. The Earth will become a planet under our stewardship, where only we can survive. Thanks to the fires of Kolgoth. Which is why you ordered all of the dragons to gather here. That's right. But keep all of this to yourself, Vlad. Speak not one word of this to the other generals. As you wish, my lord. Good morning, Kara. Let me give you a hand with your basket. Kara say no thank you, Tom, because Kara can carry things for herself. Come on, I won't say a word. You won't even know I'm here at all. Uh, Kara could never not know Tom there. Is that good or is that bad? Because I gotta tell you, I really hope it's good. I... Kara and Tom, different worlds. That's true. Hmm? Excuse me, huh? Tom. You gotta hear what this guy's saying. Huh? Geno says this is ill omen. Very ill. Island flying is bad. Island cannot fly. Foreigners have brought disaster here. I think that Geno should learn to watch his mouth. Huh? Since foreigners arrived, dragons become more dangerous. Much larger and more powerful. He wants the whole village to hate us. Dino Froze is evil. Enough! Hmm? <sighs> hmm. Geno likes say huh? not true things. Or Kara not like hear truth. We can solve these problems because we can talk to each other much better now. Leave here and no problems. It's not like we want to live here. We risk our necks every day protecting this village. Would it hurt you to say thanks one time? Hmm. 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 That's enough. Dad, but... The Dinofros are sorry if they've caused offense. Please excuse us, but now we must prepare for a mission. Hmm. Hmm. told them what it does. Hmm. I asked you to study that device, Eric. Hmm? Not use it to start a rumble. Huh? 
Well, thanks to the phoneme huh? phone, we finally know what some people are saying about us. Well, half of the village thinks we're great, the other half, not so much. The Dinofros aren't here on a friend-making mission. But just in case you've forgotten, we're guests of this village. That being the case, we have to get along with everyone. Hmm. Hmm. Vlad, you can't tell me Dracomon doesn't have something to say about the appearance of that! That's enough. Vlad already said he doesn't know anything about it. Yes, I have. You seem pretty unsurprised by the appearance of an island floating in the sky! I'm sure that Vlad has told us everything that he knows. We are brothers in arms. The floating island is the sign the Oracle Pyro spoke of. Very soon, a comet named Fire Rock will devastate the Earth. What? Keep all of this to yourself, Vlad. Not a word to the other generals. There's something I must do. Well then, goodbye for now. Vlad! Well, what are you thinking? That there's no way that island is a good omen. Eyes open, boys. Thanks to the phoneme phone, we have a very good idea of where the hunters spotted Will Stroker. We also know that Will is still alive, which I'll tell you is the first good news we've had in a while. Which is precisely why it's so important that we find him. You're never gonna believe where those hunters led us! What do you mean, Bob? Did you spot something? Ah. Only the place where this whole crazy thing began. Dino Froze Rock! So this is the famous Rock of Dino Froze. I thought it'd be taller. I'm getting a little choked up. Nostalgia Wallach here. What about you guys? Well, this is the home of the Dino Froze, Bob. Hmm? Dino Watch. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're up there, flying away. I know that they'd love to kill us, but they're beautiful. That's odd. Why is the D-Watch still flashing? Huh? Hey, everybody. You have got to check this out. Well, this is definitely writing of some kind, but I don't recognize these glyphs. I'll let you know just as soon as I finish reading them. What, have you suddenly become Mr. Obelisk Whisperer? Nope, still just a run-of-the-mill genius. Vlad is not a very good poker player. It's clear that he's hiding something from us. Your insight is worthless unless we can figure out what he's hiding. Does that unnecessarily hurtful statement come with a suggestion? Of course. I'm good at finding things out. Let me keep an eye on him. The phoneme phone also has another application. All language, spoken and every other form of language, such as written down or carved in rock. So this thing listens and recognizes letters? Yep, it knows how to read. Congratulations, Eric. You have no idea how helpful that's going to be to everything we're doing here. Characters like these would ordinarily take years to decipher. I should have everything interpreted for you in about 17 seconds or so. I think that that little box is going to put me right out of a job. So tell us the legend of the Big Black Rock. Uh, it's kind of about us. It's remarkably closely related to Dinofro's history. Huh? Uh, well, it's about this comet. The comet Fire Rock will devastate Earth after its harbinger is seen in the heavens. It appears that the comet can be stopped, but it can only stop itself. Am I the only one who thinks that sounds like young adult novel nonsense? I studied Fire Rock in grad school. It left meteorites all over prehistoric Earth. They're comprised of a super strong mm -hmm. mystery element that we could absolutely weaponize. Guys, listen to the next chapter of the glyphs on the wall. There is one who is predestined to defeat the comet. Oh. One who is both human and monster, both leader and friend. Oh, I think they might be talking about Toth. Is there any more? Keep reading. Fire Rock, wait. 
Dinofro's fire rock fragments must be found. Looks like we're going on a big rock hunt. Once his team finds them, the combined fragments alone can save the world. So we have to find all these rocks to stop the world from ending? Well, what if we can't find them, or the dragons already have them? In that case, it's the end of the world. Well, Tom, it's time to save the world. I'm not sure why this keeps happening to you. Well, it's got to happen to someone. It's good that it happens to the guy with the best friends and father in the entire world. Tom, this is about dragons. No matter what it takes, we're gonna get rid of these dragons. And don't forget the extinction comet. I know one thing. If anybody can do this, it's Team Dino Froze, the strongest element in the known universe. Dude. This time I saved the Earth blindfolded. How are you gonna find fire rock fragments with a blindfold on? The question is, how am I going to manage to spot those two dragon fighters coming after us with a blindfold covering my gorgeous blue eyes? Uh, hey, there's dragons! We've got two dragon fighters up ahead maneuvering to block our path. I wonder if we've fought with these two before. It's possible. You know, it's almost like they were waiting for us. Well, looks like they're alone. The Dino Watch doesn't lie. Hey guys, want to settle this with a dance-off? Don't slow down, John. Do you honestly believe I have to be told? Now, Bob! Laser stunning now! All right, Brainzilla! Not Brainzilla, Headzilla. Good job, Headzilla. <laughs> I guess all those video games weren't such a waste of time after all. Yeah! yeah. Way to go, boys! <laughs> Let's get back to the village. We have a lot to think about. And you are absolutely certain that you heard correctly, General. Unfortunately, yes. I am certain, my lord. I did suspect that the Dinofros would return there. That's why I had assigned two fighter dragons to keep watch on that rock of theirs. So the Dinofros have become aware of the impending disaster, and they will be willing to do anything to stop it. The inscription said that the fragments of Fire Rock could be used to divert the course of the comet, my lord. Don't worry, this is an easy fix. All we have to do to ensure the Dinofros never get one of those fragments is to destroy the Dinofros now! We're ready, Lord. I am very curious to see this new champion. <coughs> they tell me your name is Silver Flash, because when you run, it is like watching a flash of white lightning. My speed and skills, such as they are, are yours to command, my Lord. Then I command you to seek out their dino fruits and remove from them the burden of their annoying lives. It shall be done swiftly and stylishly, and with the infliction of great pain and suffering, my lord. <laughs> Bring it back, boy! <laughs> 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 Hey, what are you doing? Come on! <laughs> Let us go! <laughs> yeah, Tusk, that's right, show him! Wow! <laughs> Don't mess with the Dinofro's mascot, ever. <sighs> Guys, time to go to work. Huh? 
The Dino Watch is going nuts! Dragon time! This is not a drill. Your doom is approaching very fast, Dino Froze. The D-Watch says to head southwest. Huh? It's gonna be cold down there. Happen to bring a scarf? Man, I do not like the cold. Something's coming, and it's crazy fast. Dino watch. Huh? Hey, ah. Tom, does that thing actually tell time? And if it doesn't, why do we call it a dino watch? Silver Flash, oh. 1.5 tons, mutant dragon. Can run 225 miles an hour. Um, his special attack is turning himself into a living tornado of fire. Well, that is truly an especially special special attack. Tom, what dinofros do you think could possibly stop him? Huh? Worthy foe, but we're up to the yeah. challenge. Mm -hmm. Truly. Hello, Dinofros. Are you guys even moving? I can't tell. All right, Tom. We'll try to help you. Dino Froze, evolution. That cart is so slow. Dragon! Hey, no diving! Silverfish, huh? Kind of a weird name for a big dragon. <laughs> very, very funny. Haven't heard that one in hours. <laughs> Let's dance. <laughs> nice hoof cure, Silverfish. <laughs> I'm laughably faster than you. <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> Ah, Tom went with the Velociraptor. That's a quality evolution. Hey, Silverfish, maybe I should have chosen the Exterminator evolution. Ha! If you're finished with your stand-up routine, can we fight now, please? Huh? Where'd he go? If the name Silverfish offends you, I could call you, I don't know, Jerkapede or Smogroach. Be quiet. Oh. 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 Do you talk because you can't oh. fight? Where'd you go now? Uh. Ah. Tornado of fire! That is gross. Huh? Uh, That's bad. Wake up, John! Uh, Go to the cannon! Uh, I'll burn that fire! Curse you, 
Dino Froze. Hello. Come on out, little fire ant. Why don't you come Fine. in? I can do that. No! Say goodbye to your friends, Dino Froze. Right. Where did the dragon go this time? Right. Where did the dragon go this time? Huh? It's right above us! Ah, wall of fire! I don't think there's any way that all of us are gonna make it out of this one. This thing does have an impressive bag of tricks. It's just a wall of fire. Wall of fire? Wall of deadly, hot-burning, self-feeding fire. I got nothing. Why did you stop making fun of my name? Oh, that's right, because you're about to burn to death. <laughs> I do not like him, Hedzella. Not one little bit. What is Tom doing? Oh, whatever it is, it had better be fast or we're gonna cook. Oh! Oh! That is very hot! Ah, I'm going to make a smoothie from your ashes. Uh, Impossible! Silverfish, you make me sweat. I'll give you that. And these. Uh, special attack, Iron Claw! <laughs> Saved our bacon, Raster. Uh, uh, huh? Dino Froze, yeah! Ha! <laughs> I really dug that. Wait, I thought I was the funny one. No respect. Raptor totally walked through the fire. That's right. Looks like we've got ourselves access to a spectacular new Dino Froze. <laughs> hey, what happened to the flying island? The drones have confirmed the outlying sensor readings. The flying island appears to have vanished. Huh? What can make a whole island disappear? Uh, probably the same thing that can make a whole island float. Huh? Great Pyros, I seek your wisdom. I hear you, General Vlad. Lord, I must know. If Drakemon speaks the truth, is the end of planet Earth truly coming? The fate of this planet is decided, but fate flows like a river. One never knows which path the water might take to get to the sea. So, the path can be altered. Fascinating. Huh? You followed me? Desperate times call for desperate measures, my friend. One of our allies has been hiding things from us. Generals, you should not be here. Why not? Is there a dress code or something? Now, Vlad, tell me what I want to know. What is Dracomon hiding in there? Huh? <sighs> Our patience is running out, Vlad. You'd better tell us what Dracomon is plotting. That is, if you value our no, trust. No, Petrus. Remember we talked about this. There's no need to start inflicting your personality on anybody. Especially not Vlad. Vlad is on our side. What makes you so certain that our Lord Dracomon is hiding something from you? Do not insult us by pretending that you aren't harboring doubts of your own. Otherwise, why would you be here questioning the Oracle? 
my reasons for consulting Pyro, so none of your business. I have a problem with that, Vlad. Hmm. What was that? Strange. Geno, save this village. Geno, kick island from sky. Geno, more strong than Dino Throws. Just listen to him. You know he's probably gonna take credit for the next thunderstorm or earthquake. Huh? 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 Did John just cause a sarcasmic quake? Earth thanking Geno for his courage. Everybody loved Geno. It sounded like an explosion, but Geno's definitely taking credit for it. Geno! 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 What a goober. <laughs> <sighs> Here's the report we've been waiting for, Professor. I'm astonished by the findings. Said island was a gas-induced hallucination we all shared? Crazy, right? They're actually still trying to identify the gas, but they should have an answer soon. Interesting. I'd like you to keep me updated on their progress in identifying this unlikely gas, mm -hmm. please. One more thing, Helen, if you would. It's time for some answers from Mornell. Uh, all right, sir. Are you guys not friends anymore? Well, I thought we were friends, but that was before I realized how much he hasn't told me, which is a lot. I promise you, your mission, Jurassic Eye, will be remembered as the first step, the first important step, of the DDD's quest to understand our origins. Well, I'm beginning to think I'm never going to find what I'm looking for, ever. What are you looking for in all these video files of Warnell, Dad? Well, supposedly the mission goal, according to Warnell, was to study live prehistoric animals in their environment. But what if that was a lie? What do you think that? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it just feels too noble and expensive. And then there's this whole double Delta Division nonsense. I can't... Ah! Ah! Another explosion? I wonder where they're coming from. Well, yet another thing for us to investigate. Today, the fates have given us an important message, for which I have waited. So, generals, that's why I've called you here, to share this news. We're all ears and horns. The Earth keeps shaking over and over again, which I believe means Fire Rock approaches. The infamous comet Fire Rock? General Vlad has already been told about this situation. But now, it's time for the rest of you to be brought up to speed. We're finished. We now have a map. We can plot a search grid, which will really help huh. us find the fire rocks. Where'd it come from? Well, where hmm. else? I cross-referenced all the information that had been scanned into the phoneme phone with all the available files from the Jurassic Trucks database, whipped up a little algorithm, and voila! We have a map and a 3D reconstruction of a fire rock fragment. Wow, impressive work, Eric. Let's go hunting. What do you say? Where do we start? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're going to the swamp now. Swamp? All right, sounds swamp. fun. Swamp. Say swamp. Black swamp, specifically. Head southwest. Swamp. swamp. Stop it. So you believe, Vlad, this gives us an advantage over the Dino Froze. It means so much more than a mere advantage. Fire Rock essentially means the complete elimination for all time of our enemy, the Dino Froze. A world without men. A world without dinosaurs. A world with nothing but dragons. But why, Vlad? Why is it that Dracomon trusted you with this information, but didn't trust his other two generals? I guess you'll just have to ask Dracomon that. Well, some of us have a mission to do. Catch you guys later. I have an appointment with the Sacred Fires. Farewell, my friends. Much may you learn from your turn in the burn. Whatever. Oh, I'll say it again if I want, Dragomon's pet. Enjoy your secrets and lies while you can. 
Welcome to the Valley of the Black Swamp. This does not look fun. This is the set of a horror film. Death Swamp. No, wait, Murder Bog. Well, all right then. I think this is where we should start our Sorry, search. Sorry, Eric. I don't see any other way but to go outside and do this on foot. Ha! <laughs> all right, let's get this fire rock search started. Uh, people, we have a visitor. Were we followed by a dragon of some kind? Huh? It kind of looks like a dragon, but it smells worse. <laughs> it's Tusk. Well, everything seems quiet, oh. but not too quiet. Oh. The fog's gonna make it hard to find that piece of fire rock. Where do we start? Would the fragment be in a hollow log, or a cave, or a mud hole? Or Bob's skull? Uh -huh. Dino watch time. Well, we've got dragons. Uh, come back! That poor thing's not gonna listen. It's terrified. Just stop! We're gonna have to handle this dragon, guys. Oh, wow. Is this timing bad? Huh? What the? Back to the huh? truck now! Ah! It's useless to flee, Dino Froze. This is my land, and no one ever escapes the fury of Poison Wing. Wait, where are Tusk and Bob? Huh? huh? We've got to go find them, huh? You have no escape, Dino Froze. Head south, they both went in that direction. I'm going to have to take the long way around. Otherwise, we run the risk of sinking the J-Truck. Tusk, where are you? <gasps> Is it me, or did it feel like that dragon was just waiting for us? That's <gasps> impossible. How would he even know we were coming? Aw, oh, you big scaredy cat. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. Or maybe there is. That scream was Bob. Head over there. Hang on, Headzilla. All right, Tusk. We're going to be fine. Why can't I run any faster? I can run faster than this. I know I can. Running is futile, you large-headed little man. Just go! Run away! He wants me! Ah! Oh, buttercup. Ah! We've got the best friends in the world, right, Tusk? <laughs> now, John! Reduced accuracy laser stunning! Oh, oh, I think I drank some mud. Way to go, my young friend. Bob, are you all right? I'm sorry, but I'm not. I think that I just got spored. I feel just awful about it. And how are you, Tusky Wusky? All right, I'm thrilled that you're back with us. Oh yeah, okay. That's enough now. Eric, <laughs> come on, Bob's been poisoned, and Tusk is fine. Link is up and running, Professor. You may begin your conversation. Dear Greta, hello there. And you, Dr. Hoda. It's lovely to see you. How are things a million years in the past? It's just a wonderful point in time. There's no traffic, no pollution. I'm starting to consider taking up jogging. You're already in better shape than all of us, Stroker. What a nice thing to say, Professor Warnell. This temporal uplink costs $1,300 per second. Do you really just want to chat? Ah, and there's that Warnell charm that I love so very much. Dr. Hoda and I must leave you now. Well, goodbye, Stroker. May good fortune follow you. Professor? Hmm. Hmm. 
It's now just the two of us. Well, my dear professor, there are questions which have begun weighing down on me of late, and uh -huh. you're going to answer them. There's only one answer to this question. The dragons found out. Somehow they know we're looking for fire rock fragments. I guess that would explain why Poison Wing was waiting for us in Black Valley Swamp. So the dragons know about the fragments? That's gonna make it a whole lot harder for us to find them. But why the heck would they want to try to stop us? If the comet Fire Rock hits the Earth, wouldn't that mean the end of the dragon world as well? It would seem not. If I've learned anything about those dragons, it's that they're always working an angle. But what? Hmm. The Fire Rock Fragment must be defended at all costs! Is that clear, Poison Wing? Yes, General Petros. The Dino Froze will not get their grubby little hands on the Fragment. If you are successful, you will be rewarded with a permanent upgrade treatment in the sacred and transformative fires of Kaldor. Hey, warrior. So, are you feeling any better? I feel like a chewed up piece of dragon gum, but at least I regained the ability to move. The paralyzing effects are passing, but you're still going to have to take it easy for a while. But hey, you got Nurse Tusk on your side. Tusk isn't my nurse. Kara? Time for some leaf soup. Drink up. Soon Bob will be better than ever. Nurse Kara promises to Bob. Yuck, that's good. Listen to your nurse. She's had lots of experience treating Headzilla. I'm just going through mild starvation. Can I just have like 10 pieces of purple fruit? Sorry, Bob. Not today. No food. Must stay strong. All right. Uh, mm. Impressive. Well, I see Bob's in good hands, so I'll just go on my mission. Tom, you've got to take care of Poison Wing. Do it for Headzilla. Come on, you know I will. Promise. Now, watch. What info you got? Name, Poison Wing. Species, poisonous mutant dragon, 60 feet long. And it's found only in Black Valley Swamp, covered in weaponized spores and fungus. Which can cause paralysis and hallucinations. The dragon's special attack? Setting fire to strategically placed pockets of swamp gas. It also has a poison sticker on its tail. <sighs> Welcome back, Dino Froze! I'm going to get so strong when I meet you. So thanks in advance. Shall we get this over with? Tom, it's go time. Bob says hi, Poison Wing. Dino Froze Evolution! Oh, ah. oh no, a dinosaur. That was sarcasm. Did you get that with your little dinosaur brain? Poison Wing, you seem like a totally fun guy. I'll show you how fun I am, Dino Froze. <sighs> Why don't you stand still and let me tell you a tale? <sighs> got to watch out for that stinger. Tom went with T-Rex. Poison Wing's sure a big dragon. Huh? You've got to be strong to fight that. I've been meaning to ask you if you want to wear my Ring of Fire! I'm not digging my way out of here, that's for sure. 
feel like the end is near, king of the dinosaurs? Well, I feel like something's near, like a big ladybug. Is that close enough for ya? Poisonwing turned the swamp into a cage of fire. Tom is trapped in there, and there's no way at all to help him. Maybe there is a way out of this trap. I have no idea if this will work. Your death means my rebirth, Dino Froze. Dino Froze, switch! Ah! Ah! What? No! 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 Ah! Whoa, that's cool. Did Tom just spontaneously transform from T-Rex into Raptor? It is not possible! If you're taking a nap, I can come back. I'm going to put you to sleep. Nope, too slow. Tom just switched from one Dino Froze evolution into another one. That is an entirely new phenomenon. We have never seen that happen before at all. It's kind of unfair. I want my upgrade. So was your mom a mushroom and your dad a dragon? Still, was still. was the way around? Don't talk about my mommy. Oh, well, that upgrade made you faster. I am fast. It's actually staggered. Final attack time. Let's go, Tom. Time to wrap this up. Yeah. It's not over yet, Dino Froze. Oh. Hydro Mantle. Oh. It is not possible. Oh, it's possible for the Dino Froze. Reduced accuracy laser stunning. John! I've run out of banter. Congratulations. You're the first dragon to outlive my material. <laughs> Special attack! Lightning Petrify! <laughs> what? to be the first to tell you, you rock. Yup, definitely an upgrade. Guys, we're not finished yet. Don't forget the fire rock fragment. Well, all right, let's hunt. So she doesn't know anything. The Jurassic truck, which she commissioned, is in active use for the first time, but she's just out there looking at flowers and doesn't care at all about her pet project? Do you really expect me to believe that? It's the truth. This is the first I'm hearing about the Jurassic truck. I can't believe it's still functional. Well, yes, it is. One more question. Have you ever heard of Dinofros? Big, super fighting dinosaurs? Dinofros? Sounds like a dessert. Well, it's not a dessert. I believe that it somehow involves James Carter as well as his son, Tom. I'm sorry, Stroker. I just have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, fair enough, my old friend. Well, let's hear your impressions. I could do you, but not him. Helen, he doesn't mean that kind of impression. Sounds like he doesn't know anything about either topic. Trust me, he's lying through his fluffy gray mustache. Yeah, I know him quite well. Huh? What is the saying? Takes one to no one. Huh? Huh? The dragon's lair. That's the logical place to look for the treasure. Huh? The fire rock. Hmm. 
Yeah, the first we fragment did it. is ours. We have to keep it safe. This fragment must never fall into the wrong hands. Guys, party tonight. Melston, time to shake that mammoth groove thing. Tough mammoths don't dance. Come on, your texture doesn't matter. Hmm. 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 Guess not everybody likes the party. You boys are going to have serious trouble with that one. Mark my words. <laughs> Hey, all right. Look who's coming. Bob, very good. Finished all medicine. Bob starved. Bob could eat Melston. I'm way too tough. Ask John if you don't believe me. Want to dance? Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 What no. is this beat? Yeah. It's like hip hop yeah. a la caveman. Things in the jade truck just aren't the same without you. Tom, I'm honestly starving. How does Kara even know the word cleanse? Chewing leaves is not eating. Tom, Melston would like to talk to you now. I'm on my way. And Bob, you keep chewing leaves. You take care of yourself. What do you taste like, Tusk Buddy? Dude, I partied all night long. <laughs> Not very responsible behavior from a Dynafroze. Uh, you're just mad because nobody asked you to dance. I don't know how to dance. Not like you, anyway. Hey, speaking of great dancers. Right. The two of them were really burning up the dance floor last night. Gakko Genobota, Genobota. There he goes, again. We better figure out what he's saying with the phoneme phone. These explosions are now recurring with more and more frequency. Our time approaches. We must not be caught unprepared when Fire Rock makes its appearance. May we speak with you for a moment, General Vlad? What about him? Vlad has been behaving strangely as if he has something to hide from the rest of us. He just disappears for days and days. Vlad is on an important mission on my orders. I assure you he has my absolute trust. Notify me the moment he returns. I'd give my left horn to know what it is that Vlad's working and on. And if it's so important, why won't he share it with us? We're his generals. I never did like that, Geno. Me neither, but a lot of people seem to. That's only because he learned to play on their fears. I'll give him this much. He is brave. <laughs> This is it. I'll wait outside. Thanks. It's important to find a safe place to keep the fire rock fragments. The cave of the firefly should serve you well. Fear not. Jano! 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 
Jello. Jello strong. Jello strongest of all. Jello powerful. Jello Volta. It's humbling to see so much humility dripping off of one person. Well, the ladies sure love his strong man act. Hello, boys. Can you tell me where I can find Tom? Huh? Hmm? Uh, uh. Yeah, we sure can, Professor. He's hiding the fragments with Melston. Is there some kind of problem going on? Not exactly, but we really should get going. Come with me. We might have a new lead on finding Stroker, but we need to act hmm. now. Who are the Dino Friends? I'll appreciate if you run that by me one more time, Bert. Well, they're kind of special dinosaurs that are designed for fighting. Hmm. But they're not dinosaurs because they're humans. Or rather, one human named Tom Carter, sir. Hmm. A boy who turns into a dinosaur. Good morning, Professor. Good afternoon, gentlemen. We need to understand who's behind the Dino Froze program, because we know it isn't us. We're analyzing all the tactics they use to defend the village and fight the dragons. But we don't understand what they hope to gain. Which is why we have to work harder to truly understand their mission. Some men brought this from a village by the Marduk River. And they saw Stroker and his team? All I was told is that we should go look in the Cave of the Wing. Yet another explosion. I think this one came from the White Cliffs. That's where we're heading, right? By the Marduk River? Hmm. Okay, eyes wide open. Who knows what we'll find. What would Stroker come here for? Well, it wouldn't be for a drink, because this water's disgusting. Well, the watch has finished its scan. 30 feet to the east. All right, this cave of the wing that we're looking for must be right across the river. And bingo! Has anybody considered that this might be a trap? A trap? Yeah, because remember how half the village hates our guts and spends all day doing anti dino froze rain dances? You think there's an ambush waiting for us in there? Then here's what we'll do. All right, John, you hang back with Dad while Eric and I go into the cave. Let's be sure to keep in touch with each other. Huh? Exactly what are we looking for? Some kind of strange engravings. Well, Tom, are these engravings strange enough for you? Yeah, I think that'll do. Huh? Hmm? Really? What? Tom, Eric, we got fighter dragons incoming. Huh? huh? How far out are the dragons? They're 10 seconds out. We got a scan. I had just enough time to scan what we found. Eric, who on earth could have written on the wall of that cave? Dad, don't worry. Sorry, we'll have to answer that question later because the dragons are here now. We need to get out of here. Dino Froze. Now let's see if we can make our way back home and solve the Dad Don't Worry mystery. Well, what do you think about that, Bob? I'm no expert. 
But I'm pretty sure it's English. Yeah, it is. It was written in marker on a cave wall. Hmm. Kara, I feel way better. Can I please stop my leaves only diet right now? Yes, Bob can stop. When Nurse Kara say so. You are one scary cave girl. You'll make it. The worst, in fact, is over. Ah! Uh. <laughs> no, what, Tom? I had a thought. Only two people in the ancient world could have possibly written this. Bob, what are you trying to say to me? Tom, if you didn't write this, then it was Will Stroker. Huh? Why do you say that? Nobody else in this time period could possibly write and has a father to write to. It's just logical. Huh? Hmm. How dare you go behind my back? You went behind our back first! And don't bother denying it because you're a bad liar! Did you ever hear of chain of command or need to know basis? We wouldn't have gone behind your back if you'd been around. And the last time I checked, we all shared the rank of general. Vlad, let's all just try to get along. Excellent suggestion. So, when will the new champion be ready? Should be any second now. That's what I'm talking about, my dragons. He'll make a worthy opponent for the Dino Froze. He must stop them from getting the next fragment. Welcome back to the team, man. We really missed your giant noggin. Thanks. Where are we going? We are headed west, back into a forest that contains the next fragment of Fire Rock. Is there any word yet on what dragon will be trying to stop us? Oh my! Dragon fire, dragon mutant species, a whopping 38 feet long! Guards the forest of drums, and his body is flames held together by armor? Well, that sounds just psychotic. This dad is amazing, oh. I can't believe it. The dragon hmm? fire of dragon fire is the most potent and deadly fire of all time. Please tell me, why am I not surprised? And the tip of his tail has been modified into a high-speed, high-powered flamethrower cannon. I'm going to need to be fast and strong. Dino Froze, I'm just burning to get to know you. All right, Tom, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Dino Froze Evolution! Oh, what a nice little kitty cat you are! You singed my paw fur! That was just a start! Impressive! If you've never fought a dragon before, how about this? Smilodon? Why'd he pick that? He picked him because it can jump very far and very fast. It also packs quite a wallop. Sure, at close range, but Tom is not a good close range fighter. Just let me give you one little hug! Ugh. Sorry, you're just going to have to hug yourself! Why don't you come down here and face me? I'm going to have to engage him at close range. I'm terrible at close range. I know that I'm incredibly awesome and intimidating. I get that. You're not. I'm not intimidated. Nice view from up there, right? I hope fighting you won't be as disappointing. 
as fighting all of your brothers was. That depends on how disappointing you'll find it to be burned to an absolute crisp. <laughs> about to get better. That's going to keep hurting worse and worse. Huh? He's lining up get for up, a special Tom. attack. Come on, do it. Tom! Ah, you are not landing on Tom. Embrace the flames, Dino Froze. That advance warning? Sorry, Headzilla. Just saving Tom's life. <laughs> I'm curious how tough you are without your armor. I wonder how tough you'd be without your dino bracelet. fall apart. Absolute blaze! I've got him distracted, Tom. Take him out. Firetail guy, but I hold the school record in the high jump! Oh, there's lots more fire where that came from. Thanks so much, but I've had enough. If I want a fire, I'll call a Boy Scout. All right, way to go, Tom! Wow, you put that fire out. Peace out, fireworm. Sweet move. The mission's not over yet, Puddy Cat. Right. The fire rock fragment is supposed to be hidden somewhere in the forest of drums. Over there. Well then, let's move. Before it gets too dark.
It's going to get dark. Tom, we should probably start back. Uh, Tom, are you alright? I'm fine, but you're not gonna believe what I think I just saw over there in that underbrush. Tom, who do you think that girl is? I have no idea. None at all. I mean, it was getting dark, but she definitely wasn't a native. You said she was wearing a gray uniform? Yeah, it almost looked like she was military of some sort. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see your appetite's all right. You have no idea, John. I'm starving. I'm not sure I'll ever catch up. Um, Eric, huh? what's this cave dude saying? Hold Oku. Well, he's saying he wants to hmm? challenge huh? you. Oh, I might be up for that. Hmm. Hmm. Bob, forget it. You're huh? still recovering. Huh? Are you kidding? I could take this guy blindfolded and hopping on one leg. You can tell Cave Dude he's got himself a challenge. Ah, uh, come on, what is that? The little pointy darts they use is blowgun ammunition. You have to hit the target at least two times in order to be the winner. Yay! Boldo! Just you wait. Bob, buddy? I am so in the zone! You're holding your blowgun backwards. You don't think I know that? I'm just trying to psych him out. <laughs> was that a bullseye? Well, it wasn't a bullseye, but it was a dino's tail. All right, Bob will awesome come. shot, Headzilla. Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> huh? 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 Just hit the target, Bob. I'm focusing. Huh? Don't interrupt my mental process. Are you serious? It's not a target. It's a cake covered in chocolate frosting. I can almost smell it. It smells good. Yeah! Awesome! That was nice shooting, cave dude. Put her there. Huh. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, I just imagine a big chocolate cake. What are you doing over here alone? Hey, I'm working on my new book's Blowgun Challenge chapter. I'd say I can't wait to read it if I hadn't read your other books. And when exactly did my sweet and heroic little boy turn into such a big, unmitigated smart aleck? Dad, do you honestly think we'll make it home? Well, I promise you one thing, we won't stop trying. Hmm. Sent into the ancient past Their dino watch will set off a mystic ice blast The superheroes are ready for battle Using the special powers together Dino Frogs Driven to win one for all and all for one Dino Frogs Nothing can stop them, not even Drake, come on Dino Together to save the whole planet The time has begun to save the world from destruction For superheroes are ready for the fight United they stand together, dynamite Nothing will ever stop them and the 